How about some beautiful grilled swordfish from Catalina Offshore Products with a pesto sauce? And then we top it all off with a puntanesca relish. Let's get cooking with style. I picked up some beautiful swordfish steaks from Catalina Offshore Products. And what I really like about their fish there is it's fresh coming in the back door from the fishermen. But with the swordfish, they're harpooned and not long lines. So the blood meat is very minimal. These guys are gonna happen really quick. It's all about the relish, the puntanesca relish that we're gonna make here. And I've got one of these tomatoes that I've already grilled up and charred. The trick though is, this is the Roma tomato, when you cook them on the other side, watch what happens with that skin. It comes right off, so that doesn't go in the relish. And we're just gonna slice these up, a coarse chop, and they're gonna go in the relish that we're making. Now I've gone ahead and sliced everything up because I'm pretty sure that you folks know how to go ahead and slice and dice things. So this relish is super easy. I've got the uh, two types of green and Kalmata uh, olives right there. Those go in about a half a cup, make that a quarter cup. Our grilled onions, those are in there. The tomatoes that we grilled, and we're using the Roma tomatoes. Then we've got three ingredients here. I've got capers, the lemon zest, and garlic. That's gonna go in. And the reason I wanna get this done in advance is, as I said, it happens very quick. With that, we're gonna throw a nice pinch of crushed red peppers in there. If you like it a little more spicy, go with that. Season with a little bit of salt, but not too much because the pesto that you're gonna put on that swordfish has already got some salt in it and about a tablespoon of olive oil. And then finally, a little bit of lemon juice. And we'll use our squeezer here that I use so often. There's that, and now we're gonna take fresh herbs. We're gonna take some parsley, basil, and a little oregano. I wanna give this a nice coarse chop, and that's gonna go in there. So we just fold it over, chop this up, and I want it to be coarse, because it's a relish, it's, it's not like a pesto. So we keep this in a coarse chop, come back across, and you could put other types of you know, Mediterranean type herbs in there if you wanted to. But I like using the oregano, basil, and parsley. It's really fresh and relatively inexpensive. We'll go ahead and give this a little toss. And I mean, look at the color there and all the beautiful things coming together. The lemon zest, the lemon juice, the olives, the tomatoes, the onions. It's all been grilled and it's all ready to go. So we're gonna set that off to the side. Now let's bring in our swordfish. We're gonna do this with a little pesto olive oil. And I'm just gonna drizzle this over the top of our swordfish. And this is gonna go on the grill with that pesto. Make sure you coat both sides. And this is ready to head over to the grill. So we're working off of a medium high grill here. And I'm gonna take these steaks and get them placed in a way so I can get some grill marks on them. Cause I really want that restaurant presentation. Down we go, don't slap it down, lay it down. Been about three, four minutes, so we're just gonna get the blade underneath there, like so, to loosen these up. And what I want you to do, if you can, you see those nice grill marks? We're gonna pick up some of that oil and we're gonna turn it just a little bit. This way we get the seasoning on that side again. There we go. Another minute and then we're gonna flip it. So depending on how hot your grill is, you're gonna wanna make sure that you don't overcook these. See that nice tash marks there? and I move that one piece to the back, get those. We're gonna leave this literally one minute and we'll pull in it. All right, these steaks are ready to come off the grill and get our relish on them. We'll position them up nicely on our little plate right there. Uh, I've got the, la <clears throat> the last two ingredients to go in our relish is a little bit of anchovy paste. Now this is, if you want it, you can have it. If not, a teaspoon there. And then we're gonna put a splash of a little red wine vinegar in and give that a final toss. Spread that around. I know the anchovy sounds a little much, but I'm telling you, it adds so much depth to this relish that you really should try to go with it. If you eat Caesar salad, it's in your Caesar salad. All right, here are the beautiful swordfish steaks that I picked up from Catalina Offshore Seafood Products. Do not overcook your fish. It's really expensive, but it's worth the price if you don't overcook it and waste it. So this thing is ready to go. We've got our puntanesca relish here. 
with all those beautiful fresh ingredients, everything coming off the grill, the olives, the tomatoes, the little bit of parsley, the garlic, put that over and just put a little bit on the plate like that. I like to dress this up with a little bit of parsley on top like that. It's kind of gimmicky, but boy, it makes it look a lot better. All right, there's your grilled swordfish with a pesto sauce, and then we finish it off with the puttanesca relish. It is so easy, so easy, and delicious. That's Cooking with Styles Casual Elegance. If you'd like this recipe and more, go to cbs8.com recipes.